Welcome to the CREX.NET explanatory videos. Let's talk once again about the digital nameplate and how we can take care of collecting the product information for you. A QR code is located on the nameplate of the product. By scanning the code with a smartphone or tablet, users are taken to the digital image of the product information the digital nameplate. That's where all the information about the real product is compiled. Documentation, safety instructions, maintenance information, certificates and so on. And all in the user's native language. This data is usually stored safely in a manufacturer's cloud and is accessed by users via a web browser. But where does the information come from? How does it get into the cloud? And how is it collected? After all, it can't be the case that manufacturers have to painstakingly gather the data manually from various systems in order to make it available as a digital nameplate, can it? This is where we step in with our CREX.NET data services. That's what our data services CREX.NET, DTS and IDS are for. They take care of the automatic compilation. Let's take a closer look. Scanning the QR code on the nameplate triggers a request to the CREX.NET IDS content API. The product information marked by a unique identifier is displayed. At the same time, further queries run to find and display the related information units, such as circuit diagrams, documentation, certificates and so on. CREX.NET IDS uses metadata described in the IIRDS standard. With this, we are realizing the compilation of all data relevant to your product, thus taking over the function of the asset administration shell. The process works exactly as the German Electrical and Electronic Manufacturers Association envisions it and as it is regulated in the DIN EN standard 17071. You want to learn more and realize your digital nameplate with us? Get in touch with us now. CREX.NET Turn your content into power.